Inside top secret facilities, tens of thousands of people worked on a classified project that changed the course of history. With hopes of bringing an end to World War II, the United States government recruited top scientists and engineers to harness the power of the atom in order to create the atomic bomb. Known as the Manhattan Project, this clandestine mission consisted of three main sites, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, Hanford, Washington, and Los Alamos, New Mexico. Beginning in 1942, the U.S. government transformed these three rural areas into bustling towns to accommodate the influx of workers. There's construction going on everywhere. They were putting up this building, that building, and so on. The roads were just, had a thin coat of gravel on them, but there were dirt roads. Tens of thousands of workers were needed. The government turned in part to a new labor force, America's women. Only a handful of people knew the scope or purpose of their work. What happened inside those facilities was highly confidential. They had signs at the entrance everywhere with, don't talk. You don't talk. And if you did talk, you weren't there the next day. On August the 6th, 1945, the United States dropped the atomic bomb Little Boy on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. Three days later, a second atomic bomb, Fat Man, was dropped on Nagasaki. We didn't know what the world's going on and found out the bomb was dropped and it was made in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Uh, it was a huge surprise and shock. My goodness, is this what we've been doing? I hate that it killed innocent people, but if our troops had to take Japan, they would have been slaughtered. Out of destruction arose extraordinary advances in medicine, power generation, and space exploration. The Manhattan Project National Historical Park explores the impact of the nuclear age and the stories of people and technologies that have changed the world.